What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day and hope you had a great Labor Day. So today I'm going to tackle a question from a viewer, which are my favorite kind of questions to answer because they come from you. So please, in the comments below any of my videos, if you have any questions, ask away. And if I feel like they're good for the community and all the owners and potential owners, I will make a video just like this one. So a viewer asked me, now that the 18s are out, the 2018 Tundras are out and it's no more just pictures, like it's actually on the lot and being driven by new owners, um, do I regret not waiting? Now I'm gonna tell you how I feel personally and I'm also gonna tell you the person that's potentially buying a Tundra if you're confused between getting a 17 or getting an 18. So we'll go over all that right now. So first, let me tell you how I feel personally. If you don't know, and if you're new to the channel, just a quick background, I bought this truck, uh, 2017 Platinum, in May. I was going to wait for the 18, but this was an awesome deal and I didn't want to wait. And at first I was going to get the TRD Pro, ordered the Pro, decided to go with something with all the bells and whistles in it so I could give some good reviews on something a little bit different. So ultimately, I got to tell you, I do not regret not waiting because everything that's in the 18 um, I can actually put into this truck. Well, I should say, most stuff that's on the 2018, I can hopefully put into this truck. And what I mean by that is this. I give Toyota a lot of credit. Everyone is uh, kind of getting on them a little bit for not giving a full refresh of the 2018 Tundra. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't a ground up refresh. It was just a couple things here and there. Um, and yes, we all want a new Tundra, sure. But for the stuff that they did, kudos to them because now we have LED headlights with daytime running lights and they look awesome um, we have new grills just little subtle differences that make all the difference in the world the key that we've complained about forever that's the key and the uh, the extra fob you know to unlock and lock and all that stuff is now one the key has all the options on it so it's one key now that has been a thorn in every Tundra owner's side for years so we don't give them enough credit for that one. So high five Toyota for that. Uh, the things I used to complain about as far as the gauge cluster with the information center, there is the live um, PSI for each tire now. There's the digital readout of the speed. So they're making little gains. They moved around the way the gauge cluster is formatted. It looks really good. And of course you get Toyota safety sense. Those are some cool things right there. The only real thing in all of that that I would be a little regretful on is, is what we just talked about with the gauge cluster. The live PSI readings from each tire and uh, the digital speed readout. But I'm hoping eventually Toyota comes up with a way where we could take our truck into a dealership and they can basically flash the truck and we could get those options on here, a little upgrade to the ECU or something. That would be cool. As far as the key goes, this is completely in my mind, but I'm pretty sure I could go to Toyota and be like, uh, reprogram me a new key, and I could probably get a key reprogrammed onto just one, the newer key system. That would be awesome. I don't know if it's real or not. I'm gonna try one day, uh, so I don't have to have the, the key and the fob thing separate, but I don't personally regret it. I'm definitely gonna go after those headlights. I know right now, the headlights fit. They fit the 16 and 17s, but the problem is, they're working on a wiring harness um, to make the headlights work because they're LED now. Um, you know, I'm still going for that TRD Pro grill, so the grill isn't much of a thing for me, but those grills are really, really cool. But like the little things about the truck that I like about it, I'm going to go get. Number one being those um, head and fog lights, LED. Definitely need to get those, but no, I have no regret in waiting whatsoever. Toyota Safety Sense is cool, but you know, this truck has a bunch of safety features, you know, with the blind spot monitoring and the parking sensors. You know, that's a lot of help and I, I like that safety stuff. I do like in the 18 you can apparently shut off some of that Toyota Safety Sense stuff um, if you don't want it to be on all the time. But overall, for me personally, I do not regret not waiting. I like this truck a lot. Glad I did it. 
I mean, I'm in a unique situation because of the build I'm doing, but as far as, and what I meant for you, the consumer with it, is if you're out there right now waiting to buy a 2018 Tundra, don't sneeze at some of the leftover 2017s because of the great deal you can get. Go test drive, go look inside, go see what you got, because it's not that huge of a difference between the 17 and 18s to where it makes sense paying an extra seven, eight thousand dollars when the dealer is trying to get rid of all their 2017s and you could save a bunch of money. So yes, go check. Overall, the question of the video is now that we've all seen the 2018s, do I have any regrets not waiting? And the answer is negative. I do not regret. And again, if you are someone in the market for a Tundra, go check out the 17s as well as the 18s and see if you can save yourself thousands of dollars. That is going to be big. And I don't know how you feel about, you know, what's on trucks. For me, I'm very particular in why I like my truck. If you just want a Tundra, here's a way you can save some money. So go check it out. Again, if you have any questions you want me to answer and make a video like this, hit me. Just let me know. And uh, if they will help the community, I will do it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're back to school or going back to school, good luck. Have a great year. Um, study hard. That's, that's the best advice I could give you. Study hard. Um, but comment below the video or Twitter and Instagram at Tundra Dude 34 Like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys have a great night.